Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a journey through the incredible world of artificial intelligence, where today we'll be delving deep into OpenAI's groundbreaking creation, Doll E3. Get ready for a captivating ride as we explore the ins and outs of this game-changing technology. The journey of AI-generated imagery, starting with the original Doll E in January 2021 and evolving into Doll E2 by April 2022, has indeed been a remarkable one. These advancements have been groundbreaking in the realm of artificial intelligence, transforming the way we think about and create visual content. Central to the technology behind these models is latent diffusion, a process that progressively enhances noise patterns into coherent images based on the system's training data. This approach not only improved the quality of generated images, but also served as a stepping stone for subsequent innovations like OpenAI's stable diffusion. However, it's crucial to recognize that OpenAI's pursuit of refining text-to-image synthesis tools doesn't occur in isolation. The landscape of AI-generated art is vibrant and competitive, with numerous formidable players actively working on perfecting their image generation models. Each of these players brings their unique contributions and perspectives to the table, further enriching the field and pushing the boundaries of what AI can achieve in the realm of visual creativity. As we anticipate Doll E3 and beyond, it's clear that this journey is far from over, and the future promises even more exciting developments in AI-generated imagery. Now let's shift our focus to the star of the show, Doll E3. What exactly is it, and why is it causing such a stir in the AI world? Doll E3 is the third iteration of OpenAI's text-to-image tool, and it's nothing short of remarkable. Unlike its predecessor, Doll E2, which required intricate prompt engineering to yield impressive results, Doll E3 simplifies the process. You can input a simple sentence, and it will astound you with stunning images. No hacks or tricks required. This AI powerhouse boasts a staggering 12 billion parameters, making it a force to be reckoned with. It's trained to generate images from text descriptions using a vast data set of text image pairs. It's like having an AI artist who can transform your ideas into visual masterpieces. And here's the real game changer. It's built natively on ChatGPT. The integration of Doll E3 with ChatGPT is where the magic truly happens. ChatGPT serves as both a brainstorming partner and a prompt refiner for Doll E3. You can simply ask ChatGPT what you want to see, whether it's a basic concept or a detailed vision, and it will automatically generate tailored, detailed prompts for Doll E3. Imagine having a conversation with an AI, describing your creative vision, and watching it come to life on the canvas of Doll E3's digital world. And if you find that a particular image isn't quite right, you can request tweaks with just a few words. Doll E3 will swiftly update the image to align with your vision. Doll E3 is now in research preview, and it's set to become available to chat GPT Plus and enterprise customers in October via the API. For those eager to explore its capabilities, it will be accessible in labs later this fall. The beauty of Dal E3 is that the images you create with it are entirely yours to use. You don't need OpenAI's permission to reprint, sell, or merchandise them. This freedom to create and use AI-generated images is a testament to OpenAI's commitment to empowering users. Now that we've established the remarkable capabilities of Dal E3, let's compare it to some of its competitors in the text-to-image generation arena. This showdown demonstrates why Doll E3 stands head and shoulders above the rest. First up, we have Midjourney, a notable contender in the field. However, when we place Midjourney's images side by side with Doll E3's creations, the difference is stark. Doll E3's images are more detailed, lifelike, and vibrant. In contrast, Midjourney's images appear blurry and lack the same clarity and definition. Next on the list is Stable Diffusion XL, which claims to generate images with fewer words. However, when we examine what Doll E3 can do, Stable Diffusion XL falls short. Doll E3's images are of superior quality, with clearer text and a more aesthetically pleasing design. Stable Diffusion. XL's images often appear grainy and overwhelmed by unnecessary details. Last but not least, we have Deep Floyd IF which boasts of its ability to intelligently incorporate text into images. 
Yet when pitted against DAL-E3, it struggles to keep up. DAL-E3 seamlessly combines text and images, achieving a level of realism that Deep Floyd if can't match. In summary, DAL-E3 emerges as the undisputed leader in the realm of text-to-image generation. It represents a significant leap forward from its predecessor, DAL-E2, and surpasses its competitors in terms of quality, ease of use, and versatility. The ability to create exceptional images without the need for complex tweaks or adjustments sets DAL-E3 apart. Its seamless integration with ChatGPT amplifies its creative potential, making it an indispensable tool for artists, designers, and creators across the globe. As we celebrate the achievements of DAL-E3, it's essential to acknowledge the ethical and legal challenges that AI-generated art presents. The rise of AI-generated images hasn't been without its share of controversies. AI systems, including DAL-E3, scrape vast datasets of human-created artwork to learn and replicate styles. This has raised concerns among artists worldwide about the potential undermining or unethical replication of their unique artistic styles. Artists fear that AI-generated art could dilute the value and originality of their creations. These fears have led to protests, lawsuits regarding copyright infringements, and even rulings from institutions like the U.S. Copyright Office. In a recent development, a U.S. District Court judge made a ruling regarding the copyright nature of AI-generated art. OpenAI itself is currently facing lawsuits from a group of U.S. authors, including renowned names like John Grisham and George R.R. R. Martin. They accuse the company of using their works without permission to train ChatGPT. OpenAI is well aware of these ethical concerns and is taking steps to address them. To ensure responsible usage, OpenAI has limited Dolly3's ability to generate violent, adult, or hateful content. The company has also implemented mitigations to decline requests that ask for the likeness of a public figure by name, aiming to prevent the generation of images that could be used for propaganda or misinformation. Furthermore, OpenAI has designed DAL E3 to decline requests that ask for an image in the style of a living artist. This is a move to respect the rights and creativity of other artists and prevent the misuse of AI-generated art. However, it's crucial to recognize that these steps, while important, do not fully address the complex web of ethical and legal issues surrounding AI image generation. In the realm of AI-generated art, Significant challenges persist despite ongoing efforts to address ethical concerns. Determining ownership of AI-generated art remains a complex issue. Traditional copyright laws assign ownership to creators. But in AI-generated content, it's unclear whether it's the user or the AI that should be considered the creator. This ambiguity could lead to legal disputes and calls for a re-evaluation of copyright laws. AI's proliferation poses a threat to the originality and authenticity of human-made art. Artists struggle to protect their unique styles as AI unintentionally replicates them, potentially causing confusion and devaluing genuine art. Artists may need to find ways to incorporate AI as a creative tool rather than a replacement. AI-generated images can be misused for deepfakes, misinformation, and other harmful purposes. Striking a balance between preventing misuse and preserving artistic freedom is a challenging ethical dilemma. Solutions may involve improved detection algorithms and clear guidelines for responsible AI use. The AI-generated art landscape faces complex legal, ethical, and creative challenges that require collaboration among AI developers, legal experts, artists, and policymakers to ensure responsible and innovative AI integration in the art world. OpenAI acknowledges these challenges and is actively seeking solutions. The company is developing a tool called a provenance classifier to determine if DAL-E3 created a specific image. This tool aims to better understand how generated images might be used and to inform OpenAI's future policies and practices. We hope you found this exploration of DAL-E3 and the broader landscape of AI art thought-provoking. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of AI art, and we look forward to catching you in the next one.